Hello everyone, hope you are all doing well. This is a third tutorial for, of uh, learning Excel. Uh, today we are also going to cover some basic of the uh, Excel software, which is a uh, uh, part of the Microsoft Office package. Uh, we, uh, we will cover some functions uh, today. Uh, what are function? Function are predetermined formula used in calculation. A simple definition that will be what. Uh, so what function does for us is uh, making life easier, literally. So when you have summation and uh, you would uh, have to write a formula, but when you have multiple iteration, for example, you want to add 100 200 or 1000 or 10,000 uh, values together so you would have to uh, write it down every one every single one to count it and once you move something to different places then that will be much harder but when you use uh, functions everything will be simpler uh, for us we don't have to go through everything we only use the range or uh, uh, if uh, the values are adjacent to each other or we use a uh, collection of values uh, when they are not adjacent to each other. Uh, for, uh, in Excel 2010 we have more than 300 functions but uh, we will not cover uh, them all. We actually will cover only this sample function which is summation, average, max, mean, count, count a round. And I believe you all will need to, uh, uh, you will use this function in some point in your life uh, if you use the Excel. Uh, sum, summation, the first one is summation. Th summation is only adding number together nothing more than adding number together so how would you write the function for summation you would simply write equal sign then s u m with brackets that's then for values that all goes to between brackets all values uh, let me go through all seven functions then i will uh, show it in the excel how how they are work the second one is average average when you have multiple value and then you would would like to find the mean or the average of the all this value so you add them together then divide them by the number of items that you added together that's average the average function will be equal sign then the word average and then you would have double, uh, you would have uh, brackets. It used same syntax as the summation. Uh, the average has the same syntax. We'll cover that in a bit. Then the third and fourth one are max min. When you have a collection or multiple value and you want to find the maximum value from this group from this set from the set so what would you do you would use max the function max is used and mean you would use it when you uh, want to find the minimum value from the uh, from a group of values uh, for max that will be equal max and brackets for mean that will be mean equal uh, equal mean on brackets and the values the collection of values will go between brackets then we have count and count a counts as the name suggests it counts something for us so in excel count uh, is counting number of cells that have digits that have digital uh, uh, some digits on it uh, 
and all num uh, uh, and they should be numbers it doesn't count letters or combination of letters and digits it only counts numbers or digits count a count everything that comes in this uh, range which uh, count uh, anything that are not blank it counts any cell that have some value uh, it doesn't matter what kind of value to be in the cell for county it will count it uh, unless this um, an empty cell a blank cell then the count a will not count that we'll cover that in a bit the last one is the round round is used when we have a number and we want to round it to a certain number uh, when we have decimal points and numbers of decimal points then we want to round it to a less decimal points and no decimal point at all round is used for that uh, let's open the excel i have uh, already created this to just to save time uh, these are just a bunch of names and values nothing more than that uh, i haven't used any function yet now I have name, then I have multiple name, and I have let's say three grades for these people, for these students. Now I want to find sum, minimum grade, maximum grade, average, then average. I will round the average to be uh, close to a, a full number, real number. And then I have uh, some other field. I'll uh, come to that in a bit. Where, if I want to have uh, to calculate sum for this student, what will I do? I'll simply say uh, I can use auto sum directly in editing, and this this case will be what sum b2 to d2. In, uh, so that works in this way but sometimes auto sum doesn't work for example I want to calculate summation in this cell summation for all these value in another cell let, let's say this one when I say auto sum so it doesn't know which value it will still uh, write for you the function equal sum then practice then you would simply select values that you want to put in that one calculate some for them okay or I can just uh, write it down I will say equal sum uh, uppercase lowercase doesn't matter both of them works so uh, either way the function will be uh, determined by the excel the i will say sum then this three value then i'll close the bracket and what i have here the submission of these values for the second one same thing i'll say equal sum then first value I will select all range I'll close the bracket for the third value same but imagine I have 100 names for example like this one how would I go through uh, every uh, single one and write the function that would be pain so the easier one to do this is I already create a function in here so the simplest one I'll just copy the function which is when I move the cursor the mouse cursor the uh, symbol change to a black cross then I'll drag drop the function to the place that I want to end there and I'll just simply delete this value I don't need any value in this case and now 
I have created the functions for all my students. Now in this case, what do we have in here? Sum, absent plus 85 plus 80. I have three value in here, but the sum function is uh, we can see some function in here doesn't say error and last lecture we uh, saw that uh, when I say uh, uh, if I did this by formula I, I would probably have error this one plus second one plus the third one I have error so that's one advantage when you use uh, function will automatically ignore this one and look it just added these two values together now I want to find the minimum number uh, for three uh, minimum grade out of three grades so I would say equal to what mean then I'll select these three And enter and calculate that for the rest of values then I have minimum in this one 85 82 in here I have 80 in these three values in this three value I have 80 in this three value I have 80 the minimum value that's why I have multiple 80s in here. The max value works the same as mean. I'll just say simply say equal max. This is max. Then I'll select my values, all three values, and I'll close the bracket. 92 is the biggest value. In this case, I have 90. Then when, when I drag drop the function, I'll see the max value is 90 for this three. In here I have 92. In this case I have 95. In this case I have 85. Now I want to find the average for these uh, three values. So the average will be summation plus number of items the, uh, or simply I will use the function average that will be equal average that's in here oops equal average which is this one and I'll select my values and I'll close the brackets so all of them have same syntax you just you simply would uh, use the function name then brackets and between brackets you would have the val uh, the cells that you want to calculate this operation on it we have round round is a little bit different than the rest uh, in round I would uh, I have a value like this and I want uh, let me change one value a bit so I can get a different value or uh, that's that's good for okay much better now I have average I don't want to have these decimal values between uh, after, uh, these values after decimal points uh, let me see one more one more change this should be, say 81 okay I want to round these numbers 
this I don't have to round this one but the rest these other values I want to round them 85.4667 if I round it to a full number that will be what because the a 4 is less than 5 that will be 85 86.667 if I want to round it because 6 is more than 5 that will be what then I'll get uh, uh, 87 88.333 if I round it to a full number because 3 is less than uh, 5 that will be 88 at the end this if I, I round it to a whole number 82.5 because 5 is equal to 5 then I'll add, uh, add 1 to the to my value that will be 83 so round function will be equal round I would write down round R O U N D then I'll select my value which is a single value we have to be careful here I always for round function it's different than the others you would uh, select a single value only because the operation uh, is done on a single value then semicolon then number of digits that I want to use for round let's say for zero I, uh, if I want to get rid of all the decimal point uh, if I want to get a whole number then I would around it to a zero I mean I don't want any number after decimal point that means that so I get the whole number in here uh, same goes here I have round one number then I'll say zero semicolon zero enter I got 85 in here if I cope let me drag the rope to get all values in here I got what 85 87 88 83 now if I want to have a decimal point let's say one letter after decimal point one digit after the small point well how would I write the, the function I would simply say uh, instead of zero say I want only one digit uh, and here say number of digits only one digit after the small point enter because it's a whole number uh, nothing shows up here but now look 85 now uh, 85.5 because if I round this number then uh, I'll check the second one the second one is 6 is it bigger than 5 yes then I'll add a number to this therefore will become 5 then I would have 85.5 same goes here I have 86.6667 I'll check the second digit is it bigger than 5? Yes. Then I will add 1 to this 6. That will be 7. 86.7. 88.3333. Then the second 3 is bigger than 5? No. So I'll just simply ignore the rest of the values. Same goes here. Since I have only 1 digit here, I'll not do any task. I'll simply copy and paste it here this if I want only one digit after decimal point if I want two digit, digit after decimal point I'll simply change this one to two enter and then let me do it to all other look in this case I have two values shown up it checks the third value is it bigger than five yes add one to the previous one is it bigger than five yes add one to the previous one is it bigger than five no do nothing 
in here I don't have anything after R5 so I'll just do nothing just copy it and paste it here now one more interesting uh, thing and uh, I have in here sometimes you want to round it to 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 uh, levels of the uh, to other digits like to you want to round it to tens or hundreds or thousands for example like um, in uh, in our currency we have Iraqi dinar we all know that uh, two dinars or three or ten even hundred doesn't worth a lot so when you calculate like uh, a big number you would always ignore anything that are less than 1000 so what I uh, how should I do that uh, let me write a few number in here uh, let's say I have uh, 123 oh, 25 and I have 750 so let's say uh, I have this number but I want to round it so uh, to 1000 so I have only uh, uh, 125,000 without the remaining 750 what should I do in this case I would say equal round I'll select my value then instead of zero one two three I'll simply say minus one or two or three or more in this case I'll use three because I want to get rid of three values I get uh, rid of three values then I'll just simply say minus three and when I enter it what value I get in here? 126,000 because 750 is more than 500 so I get that if I have 250 for example I get 125,000 now uh, two more functions to go the first one is uh, count and count uh, count a these two functions on the uh, are main I want to fi uh, count if I have a bunch of let's say I will have these values these are students of my class this person was absent in the first exam this person is not uh, uh, this uh, class is not required for this person so this person doesn't take uh, the, uh, doesn't take this class because he may took it last year or something else and I have this who took uh, the test and got these grades now I want to do some t uh, uh, I want to see how many students are required to do test in in this case one two three four five they were required to do the test but how many of them did the, the test one two three four but if I have bunch of these values I have let's say uh, 100 student or 200 or something like that so what should I do I would use simply use count and count a how many students are required to take this class I'll say equal count a count a means count all or count everything it counts everything that are not uh, uh, every cells that are that is not blank I mean, that's not blank. anything that have some value that will count it so in this case count a I'll select my values that use same syntax as other functions except for the round function then I'll close the bracket and enter so how many students do I have some values for them one two three four are 
numbers and then I have one absent which is not number so in here I have five so five students were required to do the test how many of them did the test they were attending the exam so I'll, in this case I'm just looking for the digits and uh, uh, digit, uh, values or numbers I don't look for the other values that have uh, uh, other than digits for example like this one uh, so I would uh, say equal count count the number of cell in range that contain numbers so in here count contain numbers it should contain number to, to be counted I'll say count then my range is all this range and I'll simply close the bracket so how many of them are numbers how many cells have numbers one two three four this is blank this is not digits not number if I have number a combination of number let's say numbers and uh, some letters for example like this two what do I expect let's see it doesn't change anything because it should be number and only numbers in this case and this case anything other than empty value that will be counted so how do I get number of absent uh, well I don't have any function for this task so now we have to think a bit outside the box so in this case I have number of required and attendees that will be simply say equal this cell minus this one so how many of them were absent only one person okay let's continue we have uh, a little uh, extra things to do in here how to copy uh, data between sheets I'll just cover that in a bit you will go to copy you will select the range or the cells that I want to uh, copy and you will go to copy in clipboard and you will go to paste I'll show you in a bit filling a series when you have a value I and you want to fill a series of uh, values from the same value or similar or when you want to make a series then you would uh, use this uh, a method I'll just show you in a bit let let me just go through that uh, again then freezing rows and column uh, sometimes I don't want to freeze some row or some column co uh, if I have a large, num uh, a large number of column or uh, rows and I want a specific rows and column to stay stand when I move around the uh, worksheet I'll show you, uh, show you that uh, also in a bit sorting data when I want to sort data alphabetically I want uh, from A to Z, Z to A, mm, uh, or from uh, if I have numbers that will be from smallest number to the largest, or from the largest to the smallest. Let me uh, do it all, all of them here. The first one was what I forgot. Copy. If I want to copy let's say I don't want uh, let's say only this section and put it in a new worksheet I'll simply select this and right click copy or in the clipboard I will go to copy then I'll go to a new worksheet and in which cells I want this value to be start pasting from I will say uh, I'll start from C1 
I'll uh, select C1, right click, then say, or I'll go here and I'll just simply paste it. I get everything in here. But look, it started from C1. In this one, it was A1, and now it's C1, starts from C1. That's copy. Uh, then I have filling a series. Let's say I have uh, these names, but I don't have numbers for students, so I will say, okay, the first one, then I'll do for all students. What do I have here? One for for all of them. And I know uh, this uh, in, in this case, this is not something that I want to do it in here. I wanted to do one, uh, two, three, four, like this. So if I want to copy and paste same, same value, I will select only one value and uh, drag drop it to make copy of that value. Mm -hmm. But if I want to make uh, make a series like one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nineteen, and like this, so I will simply give Excel a hint to do that for me. So in this case, uh, two is enough. When I say one, two, Excel itself will say, okay, you're counting one, two, three, four, five. So that will do the task for me. I'll select these two, then go all the way to the end. And now I have one, two, three, four, all the way to the end. Let me move this to or in half to make it easier for her. Okay. One, two, three, four, all the way to 44 in this case. Then uh, we had freeze row or column. Because I have multiple students, okay. Now I don't know which class or which grades are this one for this student. Or this one. I don't know which one. I'll go all the way to top, okay, it's grade one. Or this one, I'll go, oh, it's grade two. Now I have grade one, grade two, grade three, but maybe I have chemistry, physics, math. And I don't know which one is that. Or the uh, I have some tasks like uh, the first report, the second report, the presentation, or this activities. And I will always go to up. Okay, uh, and even I have multiple column. To not to make mistake, I will check that every time. But I can make it easier. Excel can make that easier for us if we want to like keep the first the first row appears all the time so how is that possible i'll go to view and we have freeze paint freeze paint freeze paint now i have multiple uh, values in here if i want to just make the first row to freeze i'll say freeze top row Now you can see I go all the way down, all the way up. The first row doesn't disappear, it's always there, it's always appearing. That's freeze pain. Freeze pain. And if I want to cancel that, uh, that thing, I'll say simply say, I'm freeze pain. Now if I go down or simply accept it. Now if I want to freeze two rows or columns, uh, then I'll simply, let's say uh, I want the first one and second one, I'll simply go to the third one and then all I do, I'll go to freeze paint and simply select this, uh, the first one to freeze paint. Now if I check it, 
okay the first two rows are not moving the other rows are this if i want to free span for more than one row or column four columns go the same uh, let me unfreeze it or oh, sorry let me make it 150 okay uh, I'm free Spain now if I want to uh, make them like uh, ascending or descending based on some names let's say I don't want to uh, select all of them because they are all repeated of all of my names I will do the task only for the first four I mean insert a blank value in here to make it more clear okay I want to make these uh, orders ascending or descending what I have in editing sort and filter sort A to Z sort Z to A I will say sort A to Z before it sorts these values for me it will say do you want to expand the selection it means do you want to do the sorting for all columns or only for the selected column for sure I want uh, to do that for all columns because I don't want to values for this name go to other names or the first name go to others so what will I do I will say expand selection and then say sort so I will sort it we can see the the last two were in their place but these two were replaced now this is number uh, the first name in alphabetically Ahmad yeah, comes first then Ali then Bahar then Sarah these are our alphabets basically ordered and if I want to like uh, order this again I don't want to sort them because I will make uh, all values return to the previous case so simply I will recreate or refill this uh, column again okay we finish from sorting now we are coming to drawing drawing chart charts are uh, some important uh, things that we can do in Excel especially we have values and we want our charts to be made based on the values that we have uh, on this uh, uh, on our Excel uh, files so for charts uh, simply we add charts and select our data uh, let me go through this quickly and then I'll draw chart in Excel that will uh, make it much easier uh, we have this symbol for chart uh, and we say, uh, for column uh, and we can go to it's like column for uh, like this are some charts we have uh, other charts as well I'll, I'll just cover that in a bit then you have more thinking chart when we have charts we can add chart table uh, title I mean we have chart titles uh, I'll show you that in a bit we can move charts from a place to other place uh, then and we can uh, size it, uh, resizing the, uh, the chart we uh, resize not size resize uh, the chart uh, the chart and we can delete simply chart we have access for chart which is x and y if you have two dimension or only x if you have one dimension or for three dimension x y and z we can uh, make our uh, our own the uh, colors our own preference uh, on these charts like colors like uh, the size that like the uh, other thing as well especially color we use this uh, mostly for a color we format our chart uh, 
for column uh, in case you have column chart then you can color uh, columns as well then we can change from one chart uh, one chart uh, to another uh, simply by changing the type of chart but uh, we should select always uh, the chart that are like uh, can go with our data if you have two dimensional data and then we change it to one dimensional chart okay you would lose data that's not good and if you have one dimensional data then we use uh, two dimensional chart that will also not work as well uh, let's simply go to chart in here and then make some chart for example we have this data in here uh, for 2016, 2017, 18, and 19. We have, let's say, product A, B, or C, or student, or whatever is that. And you have some values in, in here. I want to make a chart for this. This is two-dimensional. Let's see. Because we have years, different years, and we have different, let's say, company. Dif different years and different company that will be two dimension two dimension and sometimes I may have one only one dimension if I have only 2016 and not other or only 2020 and not other years so that will be one dimension only one value per company but in here I have two dimensions and sometimes I have may I may have three or more which is rarely I have more than three for this one, the best chart will be uh, a two-dimensional chart. So how to add chart? I'll simply go to insert. Then I have here chart. Uh, I'll only, uh, uh, for this lecture, only talk about uh, two charts, one dimension and two dimension. For two dimension, I will select the columns. Uh, all the rest uh, work the same if are two dimensions so for the column I'll simply click the column I have two dim uh, 2d 3d these are 2d column which is shape it talks about the shape it, n it doesn't talk about the data so I'll select only uh, uh, the first one now I have this chart if I want to move the chart around okay resize it I'll select this one edge and some by mouse and click it and simply resize it this is my data I have a B C different colors now if I I, uh, I don't have title for this chart let's add title how to add, uh, add title when I select charge, I'll go to layout. Then I have labels in here. I have chart title. It doesn't have chart title. Okay, I'll add above the chart uh, the title. Now I have here chart title. I'll change the this text. I'll just let's say sales maybe. Okay. What about the axis? I have this, but I don't know are those uh, what are those numbers? Are those money or number of product or or like number of customer or number of transactions? I don't know that. So I'll say add a name for this axis as well. So how do I do that? I go to axis uh, title. I have for horizontal for this one and um, for this one which is will all be vertical I'll use vertical uh, in my case for vertical because I'm writing vertically I have uh, three values to choose from I'll I like this one this oh I wasn't this one rotated so that will be uh, and then I can um, add my own title let's say uh, maybe 
a number of products. I want to add title for this one. Uh, Access title horizontal below. Maybe these values are only for the first quarter of each year. That will be uh, or the whole year. Let me see the whole year. Yearly. Yearly. Ah, that's enough. Okay. Now I have this this one in here. I can resize it. Okay, and I can do more stuff in here, like make it let make some great lines. Horizontal, vertical grid lines, and all of that. Plot area, show plot area, and everything like this. Or I can format it as well for the text and the stuff. Uh, and I have here change chart type. No, not now. I'll change it later in a bit. Format chart area. If I want to have a background, I would say, let's say, a background for that. Um, uh, let me say, okay. Background, I can check, uh, change the pattern. Let me change something like this. Close. Then I have a background. For my chart in here. One more thing, if I want to change uh, color for one of these values, I'll simply select the column one, uh, the column that I want to change. Uh, for uh, this example, I'll ch uh, change the blue color to a different uh, color. Then right click, change series chart type. Uh, format data series and then I'll go to fill solid fill change the color let me change to a different color that I don't have it in you know, anything uh, all are close to each other let me check here yeah, the yellow okay close now I have different color for my chart and that's uh, I think enough for charts for, uh, uh, for two-dimensional chart uh, for one-dimensional chart imagine I only have a single value let me copy this and uh, go to, to a new sheet and paste it there I have only this value I want to make a uh, like one-dimensional chart because uh, each each company uh, or each name has only one single value. In this case, I'll go to, uh, select also uh, select all my data. Go to insert. Go to chart. So, an example of one-dimensional chart uh, that will be pie chart, and I will only cover pie chart for in this example. I go to pie, and this, I like two-dimensional. Uh, chart uh, pie I'll select the first one now I have this based on the this value this chart is divided but it doesn't show anything I can like uh, a chart layout I have it here in design I can change it I would have something different like percentile or sometimes I would have value, the real value with the name so anything that serves me best I'll, I can select it here or I can go to layout and legend and show legends on the top 
and I have chart title in here as well and data do I want to my data which is uh, those number to be in this uh, or not uh, I can say uh, outside the end my data in this case if they change it to percentile I can change it to a different one like this one I move move it around let's say legends on assign data outside or anything that serves me so you can play around with uh, this layout and uh, you select the, the, the one that serves you best we'll stop from here thank you